Today I am talking about one of my all-time favorite shoes I've mentioned it many many times in the past. Yes, Epic React has and is still one of my favorite shoes out there. Better than almost everything out there in my opinion. I love a few other brands as well with their technology, but React, Epic React for me has turned into one of my all-time most used shoes ever, 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 hands down. So now I'm comparing this one to the brand new, or not brand new, semi brand new, but the Nike React Infinity Run Flyknit. The Infinity Run, yeah, I love this so much that I already tried it out, so I'm sorry, it's not brand spanking new. Uh, I had to go out and try it, wear it for a little bit to give more of an honest review what I really, really think about it because since I love Epic, uh, Epic React that much, I was really curious to see how much better they could make it. And I gotta say, they made it a lot better. So they added 24% more React into this shoe compared to the previous model. And first I was like, it's gonna be better, but I didn't, I, I didn't know how much better because 24% it feels like it's gonna be a lot, but it's just like a marketing thing where it actually feels a little bit better, but not that much. But in this case, it actually feels a lot better. So it's not only about comfort because this shoe is unbelievable. Hands down, now my favorite shoe of all time. Comfort wise, love it. Uh, next thing is stability. This one was pretty good, but it did not have the same type of outsole. So if you're looking at the React outsole, we only have a little bit of added stability at the front and the back. But with this one, we have it all the way through. So when you're running, it adds stability to the right places where our runner needs it. But it's not only for runners. So like for me, I like more of a lifestyle because I'm not running that much. It is super great even for lifestyles. When you're wa uh, walking around, it feels excellent. So the extra added stability at the outsole of the shoe makes it just excellent. I love it. And then with the 24% added React, even better. Um, moving up, talking about the upper part of the shoe, flying it here as well. But this one, it actually feels like it's a little bit different because this one is a little bit softer. This one is a little bit stiffer. The material is still flying it and flying it, but it probably has to do something with adding a little bit more stability compared to this one. They still want to make it even more of a running shoe. So the flying material is great as always, adds more stability. One thing at the front as well, talking a little bit about the toe box, is that they made it a little bit wider compared to Epic React. On this one, it's a little bit tighter at the front, so if you have, I don't know, wider feet overall, this one is probably gonna feel a little bit better. For me, that was never an issue, but I, I noticed that it's a little bit wider and it feels good with your toes because you can wiggle around a little bit, a little bit more compared to Epic React. So love it. So I got it in this uh, black and white version it has been released in a few other ones as well, the red and so on. But I will most definitely buy more of this sneaker in the future. All the way around the shoe that adds a little bit more stability as well. It says Nike React right here on this plastic rubber part, just like on the Epic React. This one is a little bit thinner. This one is a little bit wider and also a little bit longer. Uh, other than that, we have a pull strap at the back. It says Infinity React right here. If you're looking at the sock like upper, it feels almost the same. On the Infinity React, it follows the shape of your foot. You can see right here, it goes along your foot. And here, it goes more upwards. And then if we're taking a look on the inside of the shoe, one of them has the swoosh logo and the other says React. The information label, just like on the React, is placed on the sock liner. So let's see what this one looks like on feet.
This is the most comfortable shoe that I own right now. So that was my little review of this shoe. If you have any comments, anything else, any thoughts, leave a comment down below and I'll see you very soon again. Take care.